Hi art friends! Hello art friends! We have got something a bit different I think for you today. This is something that I seen when I was looking for the really old Genuine Reeves brush that um, you might have seen in the previous video. And I came across this. Now this is Reeves again but it says watercolour stencil sets. So I was like hmm maybe we should try and watercolour something with these. Now these aren't like 90 years old, I think they're probably about 50 or 60 years old but I honestly wanted to get it because just look how cute the Yeah the packaging is. is so vintage. Isn't it cute? It's got like the older Reeves poach on it. I wonder if there's a genuine Reeves brush inside this thing because I haven't really had a look inside. Yeah I've refused to look inside because I want to save it for the video. <laughs> Looks like the previous owner probably died using it. Oh there is look! Well I don't know if it's a genuine Reeves brush. But <gasps> it comes is, with a brush! There is a brush <gasps> in here. What yeah. are the stencils made out of then? Oh well let's find out because this is our first this is our first time looking in this. Yeah, there's no branding on the brush, so I can't promise you guys that this is a genuine Reeves brush. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay, poll time. Is this a genuine Reeves brush? I need to know. Now, this says let me move this over here for you a second. This says Ooh. the latest novelty stencils for embroidery, blouses, lampshades, <laughs> walls. Wow, these are multi-purpose stencils, aren't they? I can put it on my blouse. I can put it on my wall. It's gonna be good. Let's wow, have a look. lampshades. That's that's an arts and craft thing that I haven't thought about doing. Oh, it's a peacock. Oh, are they made of like cardboard? I think so. And that's a de a deer or a stag. That's like a butterfly. Oh, there's some really sweet little designs. A, a bird. It's a, really sweet seeing which ones have been used <laughs> yeah. as well. A, a boat or a ship. A candle, maybe? Well, this one's been used a lot. That's a, another ship one, I think. That yeah. one's been super used. I really love the ship. But seriously, there's so many, right? There's numbers. Oh, cool. We've got a blank piece of paper. Oh, border designs. That's really cute. You know, for doing oh, corners of pages, yeah. that's really And cute. it looks like um, this one hasn't even been popped out, if you... Oh, oh yeah. Let me try zoom in to show you guys. Yeah, that bit just there. Yeah. Thing. But yeah, I don't think that one's been used at all. There's some letters. Oh, wow, we've actually got the whole alphabet. <gasps> wow! I'll put these over here. It smells so old. The, the old smell is strong in these. And we've got some more lampshade and blouse stencils. Whoa! Did people used to like customise the blouses back in the And their lampshades, they were living the dream. Oh, that's like palm trees and a little person. Oh, that was so cool. Oh, these ones have definitely been used more. Flowers, flowers and a flower pot. Flowers, yes. Everyone wants a lampshade with flowers on Some it. Some more flowers. Yes. <laughs> Even more flowers. <laughs> these were definitely on lampshades. <laughs> I love how that's like a heron, but they've only used the flower. used him for his read. <laughs> More flowers. Oh, uh, clovers. A lion. Ah. More flowers. <laughs> and more flower. Wow, that was very flower oriented. Yeah, that one must have been like a floral package. <laughs> okay. Oh, a pooch. Wow, that's a super Ooh. fine stencil pooch. Isn't that sweet? A really intricate dog. That is a mouse and a little elf pulling a mushroom out of the <gasps> ground. That's, I love that. That is very specific. <laughs> Wow! This is like all my interests. <laughs> I love like the... Squirrel! Oh, squirrel! <laughs> I love the squirrel. <laughs> I think that's Steph's favourite one, guys, right there. I really like the squirrel as well. I was going to say I really like the the like typography stuff at the top as well. I'm pretty sure that's a kid with a boat at like a pond. Oh. I hope you can see that one. That's a little bit harder to see. This is two bunnies. <laughs> Two, two bun buns. That's so cute. This is... Oh, oh the stuff it's a fuzzy tummy he's trying to have <laughs> Get away! <laughs> oh, stuff will like this one. This is a frog playing a flute. <gasps> <laughs> can you see him? What? Yeah, I can see it. Wow! He's like, come listen to my new mixtape, Dragonfly. And in the bottom, there's this random piece of paper that's been torn, but... It gives us an idea of what yeah, we'll be we can, working with. We can actually see the stencils that they were doing. Oh! So hopefully it's gonna look kinda like that. But that's it, and it even comes with some. I mean, granted, there's not a lot, but there is some colours in there. I didn't realise it came with, like, some paint as well. Yeah, so we could use those, or we could use our own. 
Wow, they really used to pull like the reds and pinks by the looks of it. Draw these stinking flowers! But yeah, that's the idea. Maybe we'll draw something and then we're going to embellish it with these. And don't be shy guys, let me know if you like use stencils or if you do stencil and if you have any tips, let me know. Have you got any inspiration as to what you want to do with these though? I just want to have a play with them. <laughs> I just want to play. <laughs> I have brought through my paint palette. I've spent a long time trying to clean up my paint palette because it's still got food colouring stuck in the corners. Oh, hmm. Nice. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. I wouldn't know anything about that. And Adam's very busy sketching over here. I'm inking actually. Oh wow. Because <laughs> my main inspiration for this one is I really love these and I'd love to do something that's kind of old looking with some like really nice sort of borders going yeah, on. Yeah, those are really And maybe borders. some of the, maybe some of these flowers and stuff in the background of the character as well. I think it'd look kind of cool. What have you got planned though? Because I've noticed that you've pulled out the frog and the mouse and the fairy yeah, that's the thing. thing and... I've been stuck between these two genius designs. There's this one that has a mushroom, a mouse, and then some kind of like a little foresty gnome friend. Forest gnome friend. <laughs> I love it. And then the float frog, he's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love that review. <laughs> Flute frog. He's really cool. I don't know whether you meant to like mask and tip them down, but then I'd be scared that it might like... It might damage them. It might well, damage while them. While you paint it, I could maybe hold it for you. <laughs> Can you sit on it for me? Sit on it. <laughs> it ain't gonna move then. I've had some ideas. Like, because I know Adam's drawing stuff. I've had a different creative idea. Oh, well, I like that. What are you gonna do? It's secrets. <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to learn how to vlog about myself here, guys. I think I've got something on the camera lens. Wait a minute. Oh dear. I'll get Adam to look at that when he gets back. So yeah, basically Adam's just had to quickly run out to the post office. Uh, something arrived and we didn't get to the door in time and it's been dropped off like a million miles away. Well, I am really glad I don't have to do a YouTube channel by myself. I'd be really bad at using this camera. Adam's home. <laughs> did you get your package? I did, yeah. Oh, cool. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm very <laughs> unprofessional. <laughs> I think this might be the first doodle date where I've ever a I've actually ran out of the house. I, apolo yeah. I apologize. <laughs> there was one before where you were saying to me that you really wanted a Subway sandwich, but you didn't actually run off for one. <laughs> no. Hey, if it's a package though, those are, hey, everyone knows who's waiting for a package. It's important. You have to get it. I'm trying to not be too overly influenced by the colors that this, this person I know, right? Used. I think it's so cool that you get like a history of what colors yeah. the person used. I think that's so interesting. Okay, okay, let's see what you can I need can to try create. to keep my hand here for like a really long time. Now, obviously they only have the silhouettes. When you colour them in, are you going to let it dry and maybe give them cute little faces and stuff? <gasps> that was my plan. Oh, was it? That's oh, my wow. big secret. Oh, was it? You ruined everything. Lol. Secrets out now, girl. We haven't even touched these. We, we wanted it to be like a genuine reaction to uh, us using them for the first time. So I'm super curious to see how these turn out. All I can see so far is a pen wiggling in my face. Oh, which bit are you doing first? It's the mushroom. Oh, I see what you do. I see what you're doing now. I'm sorry. I like how you are doing the most like universally recognized mushroom, and I still couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I'm nervous to like let go in case it moves. So ah, ah, it moved. <laughs> Try and keep it steady. That's it. I have wobbly hands. <laughs> there. My hands are like just big heavy paperweights, so you should. Oh, what you got? Are you doing the stock now? Oh, your hands are so cold. Oh my God. <laughs> what the heck happened to your hands while I was gone? Because you left the door open. For I did not leave the door open. That is a lie. I can't see. <laughs> I had to censor myself. I cannot see anything. I hope I'm doing it right. I bet you are. I don't know if I'm watering the paints down too much. I think as long as you can see the pigment, it, it, it's going to be fine. Just... I'm genuinely impressed considering how old these are, <laughs> that they haven't disintegrated. That's they're true. still working. I'm very impressed. But I just don't know whether it's going to smudge because it's like water. Whether it's going to go like under the stencil. Well, based on, I mean, they're over there now. <laughs> but based on the the butterfly and the rose that whoever owned this set before. But we don't know the technique that person used to do that. Yeah, it didn't actually come with any instructions. I was looking <laughs> for some more sassy Reeves instructions, but this one didn't come with any. Okay, you. Are we ready for a big reveal? Yeah, I've just really quickly slapped on some colour on the stencil and I'm really nervous to lift it up now. <laughs> Should we give it a countdown? Three, 
two, <laughs> one. Reveal it to me. Oh, oh my oh, god. It's mostly work. <laughs> Considering the age and the fact that we've never used them, I think you've done an awesome job with that. I'm yeah, really I impressed. I thought it was going to like bleed everywhere. No, no, I think. I mean, just look at that. I mean, you've left obviously space to do cute little eyes and stuff as well. I think it looks really cute. I'm going to steal your Mac cup. I'm <laughs> proud of you. I think that's really good. Well, let's give this mousey an eye. I want to see that now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> see, but when you start adding little details like that, you can see, like, your style starting to shine yeah. through as I'm well. I'm going to let it, like, dry off, and then I want to go over with the pen and add, like, lots of my little own little details. details. Yeah, that's going to look so cute. <laughs> the stencil that I want to use, it hasn't been popped out. Oh, wow, that's so... That's so incredibly delicate. Oh, my God. It's just this little bit here. This little, um... Yeah, I like curly that. shape isn't supposed to be there. So, oh, there we go. Yes, I got very lucky with well, that. So I wonder when the set was brand new if they all came with like every single piece popped in. Looking at it, yeah, because like on this long one here, there's some that one's still missing. Well, that one's still there. Those two are still there. There's some in there. So I'm guessing when it first came, you had to pop them all out. Yeah, I mean, like whoever on the set must have really liked it enough to pop out. So that many, many them, yeah. yeah. I'm feeling fancy, so I'm going to gold paint mine. I was really inspired when we used the old Reeve set. You did like um, an old school kind of character with it, and I was really inspired by yours, and I really like it. So I was thinking doing like a really cute gold frame in this, and then coloring oh, the like character. An old photo frame. Yeah, and coloring the character in like sepia tones. So that's what I kind of want to go with. Oh, you could paint the character in gold. In gold, wow. <laughs> this is one of my favorite gold paints. This is from the, this is the pan from the Kurataki set and you can see just like how, how much paint you get in these things. They it's last huge. <laughs> for so long, it's something else. I don't know if these classes like half pans to Kurataki or Jeez. full pans. If this is a half pan, I know, that's what imagine? I was just thinking. Unless like they only come in one size, which wouldn't surprise me. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Now I'm not sure how I'm going to line this up exactly. But we will deal with that problem when we get to it. So I'm going to start here. And I guess... Do you want me to try hold it as well? You can if you like, hun. Well. There we go. I'm just trying to make sure it's in a straight line. Now, looking at the old uh, ones that have been painted on, they seem to have dabbed it in. So I want to try and adopt that technique of trying to just dab it in. Yeah, I noticed it's a good technique to try not water it down too heavily. Yeah. Because I'm notorious for watering down my watercolors a lot, so I'm not sure if this is going to work for me, but Steph did such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Right? <laughs> okay, I'm kind of happy with with that. <laughs> kind of. Do you think I should lift it? Do you think I should lift it up? I don't know, because like, mine was so intricate. There were so many different bits that needed it. I'm lifting it. Ooh. Hmm. Not too bad. I think I got kind of... Uh, <laughs> kind of impatient and it bled a little bit there, but hey, I really like that. <laughs> I think it's because you watered down your colour okay. quite a bit into the palette. Well, how about I'll do another one in this corner to frame her. Okay. And I'll make the paint a bit thicker and we'll see if there's any difference. Yeah. Okay, so let's pop you... I'm going against everything that I've learned so far with watercolours and I'm deliberately trying to make this as yes! thick as possible yes! in, in the pan and I'm going to try and just go straight into the uh, stencil this time. So yes! No watering down. I'm just going straight in. So I'll say, I'll say about here, I think. And I'll pop my hand Thanks, on it. Thanks, Okay, let's... Oh, wow, this is all... Yeah, this is quite a bit thicker than the other one. <laughs> I can tell that this is thicker than the other one. Wow. It'll be interesting to have the comparison. Well, yeah, because in Doodle Day, well, in Doodle Day and outside of it, I've never used stencils before, I don't think. They remind me of primary school. Like, yeah. The ones that used to come with all the ships and all kinds of, like, math terminology on them and stuff. But you just like to trace around them to try and make a flower out of a circle or something. Is that what you did? <laughs> yes. Oh. <Aww. laughs> I want to make sure it's really nice and even as well. <laughs> this is the one, guys. This is the one that's going to make it look awesome. What do you reckon? Do you think I should let it dry for a minute? Or do you think I should just take I it I have off? no idea. This, this is... is a... We've never done it before, Yeah, this it? is on your own terms. No patience here. <laughs> oh! That one is darker than the other one. 
I kind of like that though because I can use that to my advantage now and pretend that the light is coming down yeah, there. Yeah, that's true. And color and color her as if the light's coming down there. <laughs> oh, happy accidents. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I was talking to Steph. On, I don't know if I said this in the video or not, but I told Steph off camera. I apologize if I said this in the video, but I do want to make her sepia toned. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna try and do that. So is there a color, because I don't really use the Koi watercolor say very much. Is the one in there that you think would be good for it? I'd say that one. See mm. what my thumb This one. Yeah. Okay, well I'm definitely watering this one down. Okay. <laughs> Yes! And this is where he adds two litres of water hey. to the cold. <laughs> Please, it's, it's my style, don't hate. It's my style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll start with some hair, shall we? This brush is quite thick. I'm actually quite used, more used too, I should say, to using thinner brushes. It's interesting, as you learn a new medium, the stuff that you tend to prefer. Yeah, because when you first start out, everything's just completely out the ordinary. Yeah, and now I'm like two months in, if you haven't seen that video about my watercolours, I'll put it in the cards, go check that out. I'm starting to prefer certain art supplies, in this case brushes, more than others, and I'm really surprised. If you said to me a year ago, like, oh, you're gonna be a watercolour diva and you're gonna prefer different a brushes. A watercolour diva? I'd be like, shut up, you don't know anything. But here I am, being a diva about brushes. You know, I feel like recently I've started to learn Hmm. How at least my artwork looks different when I use a water brush versus like a brush where I dip it in water myself. Oh really? Yeah. How how does it how so? Oh, uh, maybe I'll do a video on it. Yeah, like, guys. That might be really boring though, to be honest. If you want a really chill video about <laughs> color theory, let us know. <laughs> it wouldn't be about color theory. It would just be like a two <laughs> second long clip of me being like, it looks like this with this, and then it also looks like this with this. The yeah, I'd bite. <laughs> Tune in for more great art tips with staff. I really like that color for the hair. Yeah, it's quite a golden-y. Yeah, yeah. It matches suits. the frame. Yeah. Quite well. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So many happy accidents today. I'm loving it. I'm going to have another peek at mine. Yeah, is it drying okay? How's it How's it doing over there? Are you happy with it? That's the main thing. Oh, yeah, it does feel like it might be dry. That mouse is adorable with the little face you've given it. I love that mousey. Can we just take a minute to appreciate how cute... Uh, wait, is that me? <laughs> that totally <laughs> looks like me. Join me, mouse friend. We must take this mushroom home. I'm just matching up some of the places where the stencil cut off. It's really, it's added like a really nice textured effect to the mouse as well. It looks so fuzzy. Yeah, it's kind of got the same texture as on this example that we saw. Oh, the uh, the old ones that whoever did those did. Yeah. The, the butterfly's beautiful. I really like how they did that. Whoever they may be. Did we get the butterfly as well in this set? Uh, yes, I think we got two. I think we've got two butterflies. There's just so many designs that it's hard to remember. I love it. Guys, if you want to see us use it again, give oh, us a... Oh yeah, I'd happily do it again. Give us a thumbs up and let us know. We'd yeah. love to use it. And then I'll have a chance to do the frog with the flute. <laughs> <laughs> I like how uh, very nature-y themed a lot of them are. Yeah, I like nature-y stuff. Okay guys, here's what we managed to make then using genuine reef stencils for the first time ever. Do let us know if you want us to use these again because we didn't use the brush and I'm very curious about how that brush works. I'm going to post a mystery video somewhere on screen now and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another doodle date. Doodle date. <laughs> Thumbs up too, I guess. <laughs> Bye for now guys. Bye. Bye. -bye.